Hello all. Uh, this video is just going to be something very simple uh, you can try out if you wish to. Uh, it's to run uh, Windows Virtual Machine uh, basically for free uh, sort of <laughs> uh, inside VirtualBox and the site to get it is from uh, Microsoft's uh, developer site or Edge site and I'll put this in the description and uh, download virtual machines you can test Microsoft Edge or whatever um, so if you, cho you can choose your OS Windows Mac or Linux in this case it's going to be Linux and select the machine you have IE6 on XP all the way down to Microsoft Edge on Windows 10 there's a Windows 7 each one has uh, different uh, uh, formats and stuff so I chose the IE8 I believe on Windows XP you select a platform and it's virtual box and you download the zip and it's about a gigabyte um, when you go into these ones they get into Windows 7 they get much larger 3 to 4 and a, about 4 gigs probably is the max uh, if it's 64 bit uh, but in this case it'll be 32 bit and they used to have uh, parts where you can download it in parts but anyway you download the zip file and extract it so that, I've already done that so you just go to wherever you're you download and here it is here IE8 Windows XP and just extract that and you got to give it a little bit of time to extract because it's about a 1.1.2 gigs so after extracting you can right click on open with VirtualBox and it comes up with this uh, appliance settings basically uh, I don't know what you can get away with here now there is if you double click these uh, you can maybe try two CPUs and maybe bump the RAM up to make that megabyte 3096, I guess. Uh, DVD, USB controller, and your internet, and where the virtual box image will be. So that's fine where it is. And then you click import and give that a little bit of time, depending on uh, your hard drive speed and your system and stuff. And then it should be ready to go. And there we go. So it says powered off. You just click start. I'm not sure what that error was at the beginning and you can see it's Windows XP uh, they do suggest that you uh, if you want to use this is run a uh, and let me shut this down once you run it the first time or just before you run it if you want to keep it is uh, so you go to snapshot uh, and then create a snapshot snapshot one whatever and I'll be good so whatever the trial is I can't remember 90 days maybe at the most you can always go back just remember to export whatever work you have onto your main system that you're using okay so after some uh, tweaking and lots of uh, downloads <laughs> and so on I got it to uh, not show up uh, the uh, rearm for system uh, activation and stuff and a few other things as you can see you can uh, unlock a taskbar you can drag it around to wherever you want the bottom top and, and just lock it again and so on um, installed Google Chrome set as the default and various things uh, 7 zip everything seems to work uh, boot viz MRU blaster any of those XP uh, power toys they're all still available on the internet you can download them I'll go through, uh, let me see here, let's uh, run C uh, uh, wallpaper. Um, inside this wallpaper folder is a auto login batch file and all kinds of other things, executables. I just threw them into an archive and then deleted them and then restarted and this uh, that other background that you saw at the beginning uh, doesn't appear. And you can download the themes, uh, this is Royal or whatever let me see uh, properties uh, Windows XP Royal or it's a Windows Media Center Royal and uh, depending where you get it you just run the executable and right click like, like I just did and you'll have this whatever you want there's lots of other themes of course you can get uh, by just searching and the activation reminder if you want to get rid of it here's a great uh, this is a great layout, uh, very straightforward, and uh, you have to go in the registry to where it says here. I'll post a link in the description, 
and just follow these steps then you won't have the activation re reminder because it's kind of pointless because you can't activate this there's no license key i did install the uh virtualbox guest editions uh in the uh safe mode you press f8 you remember that and you can run dxdiag and most of it works and it checks for the uh, whatever that hardware quality list thingy signature there are a couple that won't uh, that are not signed such as this and this I believe uh, display you can run all these uh, um, direct draw acceleration 3d accelerators um, one of them crashes I think it's the DirectX 7 so you can test direct draw uh, kind of hard on the eyes but you say yes and and there you go Whoa. and then the bouncing ball and I think DirectX 9 same idea now as far as gaming I have no idea but I'm just uh, testing this out and see you know what it can do and it, and that's it um, pretty much Windows XP as we knew it or know it or whatever you want to look whatever way you want to look at it inside VirtualBox and I said you can run it for free for I believe 90 days or whatever 30 days or and the instructions you can get back on how to rearm uh, Windows XP each version is different I don't believe you can rearm Windows 8 or 8.1 but that uh, I don't know if you need to access Windows and just Windows XP is good enough for what you need uh, this might be a viable way of doing it completely legal and uh, as far as you know this video and this year is concerned that could change at any time for any reason of course okay so that should do it for this one and uh, try it out and let me know what you think or, or if you already have it let me know what you think and uh, thanks so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon and bye for now.